This video features how RG, our robotic guide for the visually impaired, navigates the Utah State University Center for Persons with Disabilities in Logan, Utah. The robot is equipped with an RFID reader, the box with a white top under the robot's laptop, an RFID antenna, the white rectangle attached to the right PVC pole on top of the robot, and a laser rangefinder, the blue coffee maker-like device in the front. Passive RFID tags, watch out for them in the video, there are small black circles on the walls, they're placed near the doors and turns. Each tag is a node in a graph used for path planning. The local navigation behaviors use laser range finding. Given the location to go to, the robot plans a path in the graph, path is a sequence of RFID tags, and associates each edge in the path with a sequence of navigation behaviors. The runtime detection of an RFID tag triggers a specific sequence of navigation behaviors. Some people were very apologetic and even apprehensive at first. For some reason, they thought that they were interfering with our experiments, when in reality, we were very happy that they were there because All we wanted right. to test the robot in an environment with a lot of people during the regular business hours. An example of a runtime detection of an RFID tag is coming up. At the end of this hallway, the robot will detect an RFID tag on the right wall, which will trigger a turn-right behavior. So the robot will say, I am turning right, and will turn right. So it's coming up really soon. There you go. There will be another example of a runtime detection of an RFID tag. If you look forward to the right of the robot, you should see a black backpack on the floor by the wall, by the right wall. The robot will detect an RFID tag above that backpack, which will trigger a turn left behavior. So the robot will say, I am turning left and will turn left. After the tags are deployed in the environment, the cost of acquiring the graph of the RFID tags is linear in the total length of the routes along which they are deployed. The initial cost of the tag deployment is amortized by how long the tags can stay in that environment. They can stay there for years at a time. Since these tags are passive, they do not present any privacy or security risks. Start